When I was about eight, I found out about slavery and black people. So each time I saw a black person, I would compliment them for their service. What's good YouTube? Today I asked my viewers on Discord, what's the most racist thing they've ever done? They could come clean. It's Black History Month. We're not going to judge anyone. It's anonymous. So let's see what they really done behind closed doors. Just them and themselves. Make sure you guys join the Twitch. We're live every day. I don't watch black guys in it. Not that I be watching that shit like crazy, but why wouldn't you want to watch it with a black guy in it? No homo, pause. You know, with black guys, they're carrying an eight millimeter defeater. Made fun of a group of Asian people. Said brutally racist stuff, no regrets. No regrets. He said if I was next to them again, I'd say the same shit. This is why they had that movement, Stop Asian Hate. Because of niggas like you, man. I made an edit of Sala, but instead of him being black, I made him white. Which, to be honest, looks pretty good, but you're good the way you are, man. I love you. You hated my skin tone that much that you made me white? Said I was finna enslave my friend, and I tried to sell him to my white classmates for $5. This was last year, and I almost got expelled. This is what y'all doing? Chat, this is the people I have in my shit. Y'all niggas auctioning black people. Niggas tried selling them for $5. Nigga, that's robbery. You could have sold them for at least a hundred. Yo, yo, yo. Why is that my concern? Don't ever try to sell them. When I was in a fight with, I might have called the other dude the N-word. Chad, is that what white people do when they're fed up? You guys can be completely honest with me, all right? Have you ever gotten in a fight with a person of color and you called them the N-word? Anyone in the chat? Just be honest. Chad, get, get the results. Get, get those things. Get those things. You're exposed, nigga. We're exposed. We got John. 4k you racist ass niggas i just played when i was about eight i found out about slavery and black people so each time i saw a black person i would compliment them for their service do you know how old slavery was and you're still complimenting niggas for slavery? Nigga, that shit happened years ago. I mean, okay, they were eight years old, yes, but like, just imagine how awkward that was for the black person's position. Like, you're just chilling and, and an eight-year-old goes up to you like, bro, thank you for slavery. Like, I appreciate your service. Now nah, I'm smacking that bro. I told an Asian to cook me some me a dog and yo, yo, English is not your strong suit, buddy. So for you to tell anyone anything racist is, is beyond me. I told an Asian to cook me dog and a Mexican to bring me a taco and told my friend to pick me some. Yo, this nigga is the avatar for racism. Now, not only did he get Asians, not only did he get Mexicans, but he got black people too. Yeah, he went for everyone. This nigga mastered all three elements. This nigga said the Holy Trinity. I'm black, so I don't know if this is racist, but I say hard R at least once every 36 hours. Yo, yo, the fact that you have a time frame for every time you say the hard R is insane to me. Yo, chat, this nigga's like, oh, 36 hours passed. Inner bro plans his day out. <laughs> oh, he's like, eh, it's not feeling like the right time. I gotta wait. For that 36th hour i auctioned off my black friend's friendship it was sold for two dollars wait wait so how do you auction off a of friendship freshman year there was this indian kid in my class and i would call him big star <laughs> Yo, what? It's, i just find it crazy how every indian kid is referred to big star for some reason it's, it's even happened in my school and shit one time i was in math and i had a black friend sitting in front of me with another friend of mine while they both sat there i found an eraser and i told the black friend that i should use this to erase him because he was black he called over the teacher to give me a referral but the teacher didn't believe it since i was a smart kid yo you're telling me the teacher covered up for you no no that teacher's racist too because nigga, if a black kid is coming up to you saying a white kid put an eraser on you that sounds too specific to be a lie now his status saved him no that's crazy i don't know if this is racism but i'm black girl and i can't date black guys or indian guys no matter what first and foremost dr umar would be disappointed at your ass i called my somalian friend a pirate <laughs> In eighth grade, I said, Willy Wigger, kill all. Y yo, what state says this? I'm using that now. You better be black. I right, so when me and my friends jumped and beat up the black sped kid in the wheelchair because he didn't pick up. Not only were you racist against black people, you also beat up a sped kid. Nah, you are evil, bro. I called an old black lady in my school, Harriet Tubman. Interesting. I hit my friend with a belt in a historical black college and said, why didn't you pick? Why are you even in an HBCU? I avoided a group of fat black women at a brunch restaurant because I knew that they would be loud and screaming and laughing and hollering. So I sat as far away from them as I could. Turns out I was right. Nigga said, yeah, I know I was racist, but guess what? I made the right decision because at the end of the day, they, they were loud. What do you want me to do? Do you prediction? Yeah, you're weird, buddy. You're weird. I'm kindergarten. There was this one Asian girl in my class, and every time I talked to her, I would squint my eyes to let her know we was locked in like this. I'm not proud of this, but during school this year, some black kids started to mess with me. You know the average school roasting session, and when he responded to me with "Show me who asked," I let the intrusive thoughts win and said, "Show me your rights." Do you comeback, but racist? Hey, 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 hey! It's racist. It's a racist comeback, but hey, creative, creative. My sister likes K-pop. 
and I called her, don't call her that, bro. Why is it every time someone wants to mock people of Asian descent, they use the prefix ch? Is it because it's Chinese and they want to go with ch? Just relax. I love my Asian people. I also went to a Cracker Barrel. That's a place that's not TOS in South Carolina and made a joke saying it was a barrel full of, but I was stared at even though they didn't hear me. So an eye for an eye. I told a white person I don't like them because they're white. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing but reading that that just sounded funny, nigga. This dirty black oh wow, smack my so I called him uh yo. I'm giving y'all this form for you guys to come clean. And while you're coming clean, you're gonna be racist again. Talking about this dirty black person. There's this Arabic guy in my class, and every day I would greet him with, weren't you the one playing Angry Birds in September of 2001? <laughs> Yo, no, y'all niggas are insane. How are you this creative? I'll repeat to everyone that died in the Twin Towers, but nigga, Angry Birds made out with Sala, sexy ass mo F, I'm not supposed to kiss. Well, that's a shame because I wasn't even going to kiss you anyway. Black girl that doesn't date black or Indian guys. I basically only date white guys because they're more attractive, I guess, and more civilized. I rarely date. <laughs> I really... All right, I can't control myself. I rarely date Asians because of small peepee. Hispanics are... <laughs> <laughs> Hispanics are all right. Depends on the person. You know you're black, right? Do you know what other people say of black women? The fact that you call white people more civilized than us, and there's white people out there that would probably tell you that nigga you're louder than shit. Like, stop stereotyping people, bro. You guys have siblings, right? You guys have siblings. Are you guys the same? No, right? And because you guys are siblings, damn near identical to each other, nigga. Not everyone is the same. So stop stereotyping niggas like they are. Don't you solid preach. When we were walking back from PE, there was a taco truck and I told my Mexican friend, is that your cousin? And I told my Mexican friend, is that your cousin that crossed legally? He then called me a dirty. I told people I'll give them $10 if they snatch the Indian girl's hijab. Wow. Please tell me that's not what people are doing. Y'all are offering money to be so daring enough to snatch someone's hijab, bro. No, that's weird, bro. I was arguing with some guy and he called me a, a hopper. So I called him a snickalick. What the hell is a snickalicka? Y'all coming up with new terms. Silverback auction, price tag, chicken devourer, Kool-Aid slurping, robbing ass, ass offender. So like a few years back, 2019, I used to specifically exclude Indian people. I, I generally thought they were nasty. Um, yeah, I always used to think it's one of God's mistakes. Stakes. Wow. Yo. The end. Thank you, whoever put this. If you're watching from YouTube, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry you had to go through hell for a couple minutes. Um, moral of the story: a lot of people were racist back in the day. Um, I I wouldn't put it past these submissions for them to be racist nowadays but um yeah if you're watching from youtube make sure you join the discord if you want to be in events like this make sure you guys subscribe and join the twitch we're live every day and yeah see y'all on the next one why for life love y'all and peace <laughs>